Here's how vitamin A can help you sleep. Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Masterjohn of ChrisMasterjohnPhD.com, and this is Chris Masterjohn Light, where the name of the game is details, too many tales, just tell me what works. And today we're going to talk about vitamin A and sleep. So we've been talking about sleep on this show lately, and so let's slide vitamin A in here. In the last episode, I talked about how the light-dark cycle, the light-dark cycle, especially getting morning sunshine and getting two to four hours of low blue light exposure at night before bed can help you make your own melatonin. But the way that that light cycle affects your brain is to use vitamin A inside your eyes to communicate to your brain that it is daytime when the blue light is on and that it is nighttime when the blue light is gone. So if you don't have vitamin A in your eyes, your brain will not receive that signal and the light-dark cycle will not work. So here's what I think is the, the biggest giveaway that vitamin A could be involved. And that's that proper light-dark cycling doesn't work for you. So let's review what that means. It means at least 30 minutes of morning sunshine at least two hours, if not four, of low blue light exposure at night. And I'll add to this, these should be at the same time every day. So even though your sleep might not always be in the same hours, your light-dark cycle should be very consistent. Let's say you're going to bed at midnight, give or take an hour. You could make your blue blocking always start at eight o'clock at night or nine o'clock at night. And sometimes you go to bed a little later, sometimes you go to bed a little earlier, but you always start the blue blocking at the same time. Then in the morning, you don't have to get the sunshine immediately upon waking. You can get it any time in the first hour or two after you get up, but it should be at the same time. So maybe sometimes you wake up at 6, sometimes you wake up at 7, sometimes you wake up at 7.30, then just make 8 o'clock the time that you get your consistent 30 minutes of sunshine. And... Altogether, these should be very effective over the course of several weeks at instilling, or the technical word is in training, a circadian rhythm where you get sleepy around the same time every night, you wake up naturally without having to set an alarm clock at the same time every day, providing you're getting enough total sleep. And that not working is I would immediately jump to say, maybe you don't have enough vitamin A, maybe the signals of the light are not being communicated. It also could be zinc because that the use of vitamin A in the eye like that is probably zinc dependent, and in general, vitamin A utilization in the body is zinc dependent at many steps. Other signs that vitamin A could be involved would include dry eyes, night blindness, meaning it's harder for you to see at night than it should be, and little bumps on your skin that are what are technically known as hyperkeratosis, a buildup of the superficial layer of the skin, but often look like goosebumps or acne. The best way to make sure that you're getting enough vitamin A is to eat liver once or twice a week or take cod liver oil, enough to supply the RDA for vitamin A on a daily basis, to get egg yolks and full-fat dairy, eggs, yolks, and or full-fat dairy in your diet on a fairly consistent basis, and to include red, orange, yellow, and green vegetables in your diet as well. For a more comprehensive view on managing vitamin A status, you can get a copy of Testing Nutritional Status, the Ultimate Cheat Sheet, that has a complete guide to managing all the nutrients and you can get that at chrismasterjohnphd.com slash cheat sheet. And you can get $5 off with the code LIGHT5. That's L-I-T-E and the number 5, LIGHT5. This episode is brought to you by Ancestral Supplements Grass-Fed Beef Brain. Our Native American ancestors believed that eating the organs from a healthy animal would support the health of the corresponding organ of the individual. Ancestral Supplements has a nose-to-tail product line of grass-fed liver, organs, bone marrow, brain, and more, all in the convenience of a capsule. For more information or to buy any of their products, go to ancestralsupplements.com. This episode is brought to you by Ample. Ample is a meal in a bottle that takes a total of two minutes to prepare, consume, and clean up. 
It provides a balance of fat, protein, and carbs, plus all the vitamins and minerals you need in a single meal, all from a blend of natural ingredients. It's available in original, vegan, and keto versions. Portioned is either 400 or 600 calories per meal. I'm an advisor to Ample, and I use it to save time when I'm working on major projects on a tight schedule. It keeps my brain going while I power through the day, never letting food prep get in the way of my productivity. Head to amplemeal.com and enter the promo code CHRIS15 at checkout for a 15% discount off your first order. The audio of this episode was enhanced and post-processed by Bob Devodian of Torian Mixing. You can find more of his work at torianonlinemixing.com. For ad-free versions of these episodes with transcripts that you can read and getting early access to the episodes, often weeks or maybe even months ahead of time, you can sign up for the CMJ Masterpass at chrismasterjohnphd.com slash masterpass and use the code LIGHT10 to get 10% lifetime discount. All right, I hope you found this useful. Signing off, this is Chris Master on chrismasterjohnphd.com. This has been Chris Master John Light, and I will see you in the next episode.